house is feeling so cozy like you know when you just do your run around of like general cleaning and your house just feels nice that's how i'm feeling right now hi everyone welcome back to the channel i noticed the last few vlogs i didn't do an intro don't know what happened just didn't do one so sorry <laughs> i hope you're all well um so yeah my house is feeling really cozy it's had a clean down i feel like every other day i'm just cleaning the house because i'm just doing little bits at a time but i'm really happy with um how it is at the minute it's tidy and neat and it smells good and i've got candles on i just love life um it's the little things that just really make a difference to me like having a tidy house making sure my candles are on just liking my environment makes a huge difference to how i feel update to all the piercings out my ears don't do it just don't uh yeah they were really really hurting um i've decided to take them all out the third hole ones are still to be honest there like the holes and the holes on this one are still there like there but it still hurts so i'm probably i know you're meant to put a bar in first so many people said on the last vlog put a bar in put a bar in um so yeah, I might put a bar in to let that one heal, but you're not meant to pierce them with the gun anyway. So I've just took them all out for safety, you know. Um, I have just listed a whole bunch of stuff on my Depop as well. I'm trying to get rid of... Well, I was debating. I bought like loads of stuff to kind of bring my summer dresses from last year in a little bit because I've lost a bit of weight and some of them don't fit. Well, quite a lot of them don't fit anymore. But I'm just not able to get away with them. Like if I manage to tailor them on my waist, then they don't fit on my shoulders. So I've decided just to sell them and I'm going to rebuy the ones I want, hopefully in a smaller size. So I've just listed a whole bunch of stuff in my Depop and I've just sold an item there. So I need to get that packed up. It's absolutely pissing down. Um, I'll show you around the house because I've got some cute things I want to show you. This is a little quick overview of my living room early evening. It's very, very cosy. So walking in on my sideboard, I have my candle lit. This is from TK Maxx. I liked it because it's in a navy jar, which obviously matches my living room. It's got two wicks. It smells beautiful. My friend Kate gave us these yesterday because I went to see her at Starbucks for a coffee. And this is, this is my birthday present from her. I absolutely love it. It's of Henry and Luna and she drew it on her iPad, which just makes it so much more personal. And I love it. Look at my cute babies. This is Sean's camera stuff. I just leave it in here for him to sort so he can use it when he wants it. I actually really love this. This is from Amazon. So many people ask where I got it from. I got it from Amazon. They rarely have it in stock. If it is in stock, I'll link it below. But it's just an electric wax burner and I love it. And then we'll just have a little calendar, this little light. And then my deco hasn't changed. I changed my rediffuser and that's my goddaughter, Maya. Isn't she gorgeous? Um, but yeah, I've cleaned all of the sofa today as well. Still hate the sofa, but I'm not just going to fork out for a new sofa because I made a bad decision. This is the clock which you might have seen on a charity shop haul. It's got its pride of place on here, which I just think it looks so pretty and so many people have complimented it. I love it. These little hedgehogs Sean got us off the pups. I think it was for Mother's Day and I'm not going to lie, I just put them in a cupboard and forgot about them. So now they're sitting on my radiator just for the crack. And then this is um, a little thing Sean got us. It was about the date we met, what the sky looked like. I thought it was adorable. Then I have my deco pieces here. Then my bookshelf. I love my bookshelf. So obviously I have another candle up here. A nice red one. This painting here is what my Auntie Margaret painted. It's on a beautiful canvas. It's a waterfall and I just love it. Um, but yeah, my bookshelf is very cute. And I just love my little deco pieces. But yeah, just got some. That towel is used for literally fake tan. So just ignore that. It has been washed, but it stains. It doesn't come out, so I use it just for fake tan. But yeah, this is just an overview. I just think my living room looks so cosy and nice. I have a few things to still put away, but I haven't done it yet because I can't be asked. I've put the heating on for the first time in ages. Um, we've not literally had the heating on because we've not needed it, but I am feeling cold today and it's non-stop raining. So I was like, you know what? gonna have to bite the bullet today's a heating day sean will probably come in and go ah what you got the heating on for and i'll be like because i'm fucking freezing mate so yeah i've had some um pasta for tea we've got an asda delivery coming tonight at half seven and i was absolutely good because four of the items that we ordered aren't available and the items i really wanted like vegan fridge radars which is not a necessity but you know when you just crave them my vegan mints uh the mints i ordered for the dogs isn't coming and sean's chicken thighs so i don't know if asda were having a crisis this morning but they didn't have stuff i wanted so yeah um 
what am I doing now? Yeah, sorry, so I was saying, Sean made this yesterday. It's literally just a tomato pasta. But at the beginning of every week, we'll make one. And then it's just then. It'll last for a good few days for either a lunch or a dinner. I've just had some of that. He's at work at the minute. Um, oh, one thing I wanted to tell you about, guys, because I never knew about this until my grandma mentioned it. So if you travel, did you know... Or, right, so if we travel, before we left the EU, I always made sure I had my AHIC card. Um, which is like majority of you if you've traveled will know about them but it was a card to make sure that if you are away you could get free or reduced um, priced health care well I didn't know it existed anymore I didn't think there was anything like that existed my grandma told us that there was it's now called a global health insurance card um, so me and Sean ordered ours and it arrived and it's here yeah. so yeah um, but yeah it just tells you like how so it's not in my personal information it's just standard information on the back of like how you do it but it's just so like if you're overseas it says yeah uh, should you need to make a claim on the return home uh oversee healthcare service number there's a number for you to ring got a question um yeah but it's really important that we get them because i feel like yeah, if you travel i think you need one so me and sean have got ours i would recommend you've got yours because it's important Actually, after the scare we had when we were away with my broken foot, we didn't have an e-hit card um, because I thought they didn't exist anymore. My grandma was like, no, no, there's like a different version, like the global health one. I was like, ah, I didn't know that one existed. So, yeah, if you were like me and didn't know, then I would recommend you get one. Right, I don't know what to do. I'm a bit bored, to be honest. I've been colouring in, but I'm sick of that. I, I'm doing a scrapbook. I'm in the middle of a really exciting scrapbook project but i just don't fancy doing it at a minute i might do some editing i've got some editing and i've got some research i could do for my second channel so i feel like i might do that using up what we're having until the asda delivery comes so for tea i've got mashed potato and then i have um a leftover moussaka which we got from this local place last night but it's really nice we've got that leftover and then a vegan chicken breast Sean has just got a selection. Is that mash? It's <laughs> got a bit of mash, a bit of fries, black pudding, sausages, beans. <laughs> uh, just left over. Now we're waiting for our Asda delivery, so I tease a bit. Mix and match. Right, I need to charge the light on my phone, so sorry we're a little bit dull. I have just done two things that were absolute necessity. One was to clean the dog's cupboard out. It's in the utility, that's where we keep all that stuff, but it just got a mess. Henry, you're just wanting my seat, I know you are. Come here. And the other thing was to clean our medical, um, like first aid kit, medicine cupboard out. So we have like a little cart in which we keep everything in. Honestly, guys, some things went out of date in like 2022, so... Yeah, sorted all of that out. It's in date and tidy now. And I found these in B&M. Giant Jammy Dodgers. This is the best thing since sliced bread. <gasps> these are good. So now they do minis, normal and big. The giant ones are good. 
there's just so much more to it more biscuit more jam more flavor I made sure today and yesterday it was a self-care day so I did me tan fresh and that yesterday moisturized I haven't washed my hair I've been putting it off and putting it off this week you know some weeks when you just really can't be off nights like tonight where Sean's on night shift I was really busy and if I went into the kitchen and I was like oh I've got a tomato pasta I'll just have some of that if I didn't have this I probably would have got a takeaway tomato pasta is just a staple for us I just think it's delicious I always fancy it it's just a nice meal I had a bit of a scare to do well, I did get me at the vet because he came in from a walk with Sean and he was like holding his paw up. Sean said he just stopped walking on it and was chewing the pads to bits. Um, but yeah, and he, he just stopped walking on his paw, literally was chewing the pads off his paw, we inspected it, we couldn't say anything. Well, maybe in panicky nick as I am, took him to the vet's. And the vets have given him like an anti-inflammatory tablet for three days. Probably a waste of money. But when it's your dog and they can't tell you what's wrong, I just panic. And I'm like, well, what if this hidden glass in his foot? What if this hidden sting nettle? I don't know. I'd just rather be safe than sorry. So he went to the vet. Didn't like it. But paid 60 quid and got him three tablets. <laughs> so expensive to do, Henry, weren't you? I wish garlic didn't make you sting so bad. Because I would literally fill every meal with it. Also, guys, today my free prints of the month arrived this is not an ad but i literally use up my 45 free free pins every single month one because i love scrapbooking so if i want prints scrapbooking great uh, this month i've actually ended up paying for some extra prints because i'm working on a project for someone very special and i'd already selected my 45 after i started the project and i needed more so i paid some more but honestly they're dead cheap anyway but i'll show you some of my favorite pictures i got printed this month i decided to get this one printed it's of me and Sean when we first got the pups. It's the first day we got them and I just love it. By the way, they're fighting in the background, if you can hear. <laughs> Sean was like, you do realise people who work there have had to print, have had to see that. <laughs> Are you okay, darling? What's the matter? Do you need a hug? Has life got too much? Do you just need a hug? I know, life gets like that. Mummy feels it too. I do. I feel it too. Are you alright? Is your paw hurting? <laughs> I got this one printed of a trip. Love it. Oh, this is my dog, Jessie, who um, was our family dog before we got Dolly. She passed in April 2016. And I just realised I never had this photo printed, so I decided to get it. It's one of my favourite photos of Sean when we went to Florida together. More photos of the dogs. The dogs. The dogs. Oh, this is a nice one of my nana, granddad and brother um, at Christmas. I got that printed. Me and my grandma. Beautiful. Look at that one, a Luna. She's like a swan. <laughs> she thought she looked so cute. I really like this one of me and Sean. I've got this one printed. Me and my friend Caitlin. It was the last time we went out together. We had such a good night. So look at me with me bloody wicked in my hand. Got that printed. Um, also, I realised I never actually had the proposal photo printed that Sean uh, from when he proposed. So I decided to get that as well. Uh, that was a family meal photo with Sean's family, a family meal photo with my family. Got this printed of my mum and Neil in the Bainland hot tub. I just thought it was a nice photo. Me and my cousin India. How alike do we look? So cute. I got this one um, printed when me, Jess, Emmanuel and Sean went to play badminton. I just liked it. Me and my friend Katie in London. Me and my friend Kate when we went to see a dance show. Um, my parents and Sean's parents and then um, my grandma that was on her birthday I just think she looks really cute and it's a gorgeous photo of her that was the day me and Sean got the keys to our house and I realised I never actually printed that one either so I got that and then that's my grandma with a really really nice scone <laughs> but yeah so I just love getting my photos printed um, I'm like such a I like to have physical memories I'll probably end up sticking majority of my photos in some type of scrapbook i was thinking on doing like a photo album scrapbook where it wouldn't necessarily be focused on the designs but it would be like just a photo album one and i could write a little description of like the photo um just for somewhere to actually put all of my photos and display them nicely so i think that's going to be my next project henry's current project is this tea towel which has got treats wrapped in it so he's having a go with that and Luna has this toy which is actually really great for their enrichment play because it's got like a little hole in its belly where you can shove treats. So that's what they're currently doing. Keeping themselves entertained. 
Right guys, I am in the middle of packaging up something very, very, very exciting and I wanted to show you it before I do. So you might have seen I did a community post, I think it was about a week ago now, where I basically said I was going to be making up some scrapbook starter kits. Now this idea I come from, every time I post about my scrapbooks, people often say like they don't know how to fill the pages, they don't know where to start, they really want to do a scrapbooking but they're overwhelmed. I, in the last eight months, have found scrapbooking the best thing ever. It's so therapeutic. I just love it. And I've been so lucky that I'm really good. I don't want to float me on trumpet, but I am really good at sourcing products for my scrapbooks. I go to charity shops, boutique shops, vintage markets. Um, I get stuff online. I've just got a whole range of places where I source stuff for my scrapbooks. And I've built quite a collection. I have a lot, but I just love it. Anyway, I'm going to... Well, I've done two at the moment, it potentially might be something I'd do in the future, but I would love to do this as a business, to be honest. This would make me so genuinely happy, but I want to hear your thoughts. Is this a business idea? Is this a concept or is this not? But I've got two, anyway, two orders, which I'm very excited about. I just put them on my Depop and I put one on Vinted as well and people ordered them and I was like, what? So I'm going to be doing them a scrapbook starter kit. Now I'm going to show you an example of what's included in one of them. Of course you get a scrapbook. Now I would do options if I made this a business. I'd do options to do one with and without the scrapbook. Simply because some people don't want the scrapbook in, some people do. So this is the scrapbook that um, this lady's getting. This is my favourite size scrapbook. I find it's not too big and not too small. So this is... This ah, just knocked you. And moving into the little kits I've made. I've spent all evening making up these little sections of the kit so this everything i'm showing you now is in one star kit, and then in here is bits and bobs so you get a hot drink because you always need a hot drink when you're scrapbooking and then in this first kit you get a glue stick self-explanatory you get a pen more pens now this lady's theme was red so i will like see you can personalize the kind of color theme but it is more or less a mystery on what you're going to get but if you do give us a color theme i'll try my best to stick to it so this lady said red as a color theme but other than that she doesn't really care so she's getting a red pen just a yellow pen a pencil and a red highlighter a mini highlight um in a chocolate hot chocolate as well and then in here this is going to be all the washi tapes so I said you'd get a minimum of three washi tapes, but I included more. So these are the first three she's getting. And then we've got some glitter and pink. And then we just have some other patterns. So nine washi tapes she's getting, and then she's also getting a washi tape pen. This is the one that I selected, and that is the pattern that it comes out on. And then she's also getting this decor notepad paper and this one too, which is kind of like a vintage speckle. So that's in this little one, which I'm obviously going to like wrap it all up and write little notes on everything. So in these envelopes here, we have um, decorative paper in this one. So this is like you get some card paper. This is just really great for filling up your pages. There's a big selection here. Um, there's over 70 like different decor cards some smaller ones as well but there's a good selection so that you could have a good go of the book also get over 100 individual stickers so i'll show you some examples so it comes in an envelope like this this is like the individual stickers she's getting so there's some people there's vintage themes there's some extra ones i've tried obviously put in her color theme as well where she's requested it like the red and burgundy tones here but um, I have also with the stickers just given a good selection because I feel like with stickers, you, you just want a good selection because you never know how your page is going to go or what you're going to design it like. So she gets over 100 stickers, individual ones in here. And then this is her embellishment. So for the embellishment, I've included some dried flower, which I think is beautiful. Then also got just some little frames, some extra little things, some ribbon with um carb uh, what do you call this again stamp on it then got some dry kind of flowers just so you can play with different textures and stuff that's mainly what embellishments are for 
and then she's got these beautiful um pieces here which would make beautiful like frames um so there's a selection of different sizes and shapes in the embellishment i love using envelopes in my scrapbook so i thought i'd include her some envelopes so i've given her a pink one just a plain little white one um there's this one as well in which you can put little bits in and then a musical note one so these will be part of a starter kit and then in these three bigger ones so this one here is going to be decor paper so there's a good selection of decor paper in here for her um there's vintage themes some nice themes and then there's loads here as well as you can see vintage i've tried to stick to the red theme where i could um more vintage she's very popular in scrapbooking that's why a lot of people like it and then you've got some kind of like mesh papers here some watermelon papers there's just a really good selection of decor papers in here and then in here this is all of her solid papers and cards there's a few extra decor ones at the back because these ones are a4 so you can see there's a few extra decor ones but then the solid ones and then i've just got some little labels in here for her to use as well And then the last thing she'll receive is a sheet stickers. So these are sheet washi tapes. So they just like, you can just like peel them off at the corner. Lots of different ones. So she's got a selection of washi tapes and she's got the circles, some bigger circles, some square designs. I love this like Japanese design. These ones aren't pre-cut, so you do like cut around the stickers yourself, but these are extra stickers, some moons, some green. And then some more so yeah this is everything i um i really enjoyed pulling this together i'm going to wrap everything really beautifully as well with little messages just like because i'm presuming if somebody's buying a starter kit that haven't really scrapbooked before so i'm going to um take it under the impression that they haven't and just write little notes of like kind of what things are and just make it all really cute um but yeah what do you think like do you think this could actually be like a business thing i mean obviously if it was going to be a business thing i'd have to add up all the costs of everything these ones are kind of just trial and error i'm going to ask for feedback when they're received as to what the people think um but i've definitely not charged the amount that would cover the cost of this like i feel like if this was going to be a business i am good at like sourcing cheap cheap items to do in like scrapbooks and stuff but i feel like if i was going to do this is a business to make it sustainable the boxes would probably have to be around 25 pound but i did only charge 15 for these ones because i was like i just want to pull them together see what they're like and yeah just see if i enjoy doing it and i've really enjoyed pulling everything together but i need to package up the boxes now which i'm actually really excited for like i'm such a ugh, i just love things like this it makes us so excited My dad is coming to pick us up to take us out, which I very much appreciate because I've been stuck in the house. Well, it's only been a day and a half, but I just, oh, I love flitting about. Like, I love getting out. Anyway, he's taking us to Whitley Bay to some charity shops. He's finished work, so I'm really grateful that he's coming to get us. Um, so I'll probably spend an hour or so with him, and then my grandma's staying at mine tonight, so that'll be nice.
anyway i'm gonna end this vlog here because i feel like there's enough footage and yeah i'm happy with how it turned out but i'm gonna start a new one straight after this so there'll be another one in a few days thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed it and i really appreciate your love and support and i'll see you all very shortly for another one bye